So the difficulty in answering that question is, I believe that it's always going to come down to teams, always has, is, and will be. It all comes down to how we work together as a team. The second area that we might want to consider that's really important is how do you lead through change and uncertainty? Because there's so much change and it's coming at us faster and faster. So our ability to shift and adjust is really critical. So the skill set of how to lead through change and uncertainty is very, very important. And I say uncertainty for a reason, because often what happens is people are waiting for certain information, waiting for certain situations, and you've got to make that happen. So with a lot of uncertainty, there's also opportunity. The key is how do you lead through change and uncertainty? And the other part that I think is really important to consider is daily innovation. The idea that we not only need to be innovative in our job, but we have to be innovative daily. But I'm not talking about a new product or service. I'm saying the way we look at things. So for example, when organizations say, well, you know, if uh, we had more resources, we could improve it. Well, I could make an argument that sometimes more resources is the problem, not the answer. For example, more resources cause uh, more complexity, causes many more issues. Now, I'm not saying we should never have more resources, but often people go to a knee-jerk response rather than looking at things in an innovative way and being innovatively daily. So in other words, daily innovation.